The Detroit Lions had one of the best seasons in franchise history, but so did Porter Harry. Check out these numbers. He is number one in quarterback rating with 118.4. Number one in yards with 4,870 yards passing. Number one in TDs with 39 of them things and only 15 interceptions. His career numbers are stupid. Over 1,300 yards. 1,370.55 to be exact. And 106 touchdowns so far. Stupid numbers. Calvin Johnson was our number one receiver this season. 78 receptions, 1,162 yards receiving. And he also caught seven touchdown passes, which puts him third on the team. Roy Williams, 55 receptions, 1,098 yards, 12 touchdowns. That puts him on top of the Detroit Lions when it comes to passing TD receptions. Now, when it comes to Vernon Davis, look at his numbers. 58 receptions, 989 yards receiving, and four touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards for a tight end. That's pretty doggone impressive. Yes, pretty doggone impressive. And then when it comes to John Jones, solid season for him. 48 receptions, 948 yards receiving, and nine touchdowns. That Green Bay game was absolutely filthy, what he did to the Packers in Detroit. Devin Hester, the forgotten man, he got hurt halfway through the season. He should be back for the divisional round. Eight catches, 224, 244 yards, three touchdowns, giving him an average of 30.5 yards per catch. Filthy numbers. Tatum Bell. He did have a 1,000-yard season, believe it or not. He had 1,085 yards, four touchdowns, also caught four touchdowns, and caught 329 yards worth of receiving yards. He's a number two rated running back as far as yardage is concerned. So, yeah, there's that. Corin Little, two touchdowns on 68 carries and 169 yards. Jeff Backus, number one lineman in the league, was second, second when it comes to pancakes in the whole NFL. Arik Jackson, 103 tackles, 18 tackles for loss, number one in the league, one sack, and he also had one interception. Casey Wells, number one in the league in interceptions. He had a grand total of nine. He also had 70 tackles and two tackles for loss. Julius Pep Daddy. Peppers, he had 13 sacks, not number one, but a, a, pretty, a pretty productive season, if you ask me. Sims, five sacks, that ties him for second on the squad. He is going to be tied with, of course, Big Rogers, who also comes in with five sacks. I was hoping for more production from our defense, but you know it. It is what it is when it comes to the sack numbers. As a whole, I think our defense performed pretty well. And then when it comes to our boy Joe Danielson and Horace Gooden, and don't forget about Quentin Jammer, these three guys all had two interceptions apiece. So shout outs to them. All right. And then last but not least, Price. He only had a couple of sacks, I believe, but he was tied. No, he's not tied. He's in the top five for tackles for losses, believe it or not. So the lead of the NFL in passing numbers all throughout every category is impressive. But Porter Howry, he did not lead the NFL in one major category. And that will be completion percentage. And that just sucks because he completed 66% of his passes. But 67 was the mark that he needed because House of Back, the Lomi, the homie, Romo, and Manning, they completed 67% of the passes. So he missed out on it by just one. Reggie Bush, he's out for five weeks. That sucks because he led the league in rushing with 2,000 of them things. 13 touchdowns as well. But Marion, the Barbarian, he led the way with 20 touchdowns. Also put up 1,800 yards. Had a bunch of carries. Only averaged 3.9 yards a carry. Averaged over 100 yards per game, though. They, they gave him the rock 464 times. I don't know how he was able to withstand that, but he did. He, he really, really did. Most receiving yards goes to Jackson. And then you got Walker and Kotri, Torrey Holt. And then you got Lee Evans. When it comes to receiving touchdowns, Evans, Brant, Stallworth, Randy Moss, and then Roy Williams rounds out the top five. When it comes to tackling Antonio Pierce, he had the most with 169. Tackle for loss, like I said, Ark Jackson, Sims, Rogers, Gooding, and Price. Top five all Detroit Lions. Little Little League in sacks. Will Smith still smacking people. The late Will Smith had 18 sacks to end the year. Casey Wells, like I said, top when it comes to your interceptions. Hopefully he can keep doing that. 
I don't want to see teams throw away from him. But he probably going to switch sides with Quentin Jammer next season. Michael Vick is your MVP. Passing numbers, decent. 20 touchdowns, 2,700 yards passing. But it's the rushing number. 1,600 yards, a career high for him. My goodness gracious. Just under 10,000 yards rushing. He is also your offensive player of the year for the Atlanta Falcons, who will be playing those Seattle Seahawks in the wild card round. Antonio Pierce is your defense of player of the year. Allen, who we faced in our last episode, we kind of put the brakes on him, but he does win offensive rookie of the year. And then for the defense, Brad Dexter, outside linebacker for those Minnesota Vikings, had five sacks and four forced fumbles. Porter Howry, no question about it, is the best quarterback in the NFL today. Barber is the best running back, beats out LaDainian Thomas, and LT will be the best running back on the AFC side of things. Then you got Lee Evans and Starworth and Branch finding out for the best receiver award. Jeff Backus, you see it right there, best offensive lineman. You see see it and there's no debate he's the best in the league and i want to get rid of him but i just can't do it. he keeps on winning awards little is your best d lineman pierce is your best uh linebacker brian dawkins without family still the best defensive back in the league coach smith is the coach of the patriots anyone coach of the year we made 40 million just joking we have 40 million dollars in assets as of right now um and that's okay but we need to get more because i want to create an outdoor stadium for this team before this franchise is up nfc looks like this rams lions giants falcons seahawks and those cowboys afc chargers steelers patriots jaguars the jets and the bills so let's head to new england the Buffalo Bills beat the Patriots in both matchups this season, believe it or not. In week four, the Bills won 24 to 20. In week 15, the Bills won 24 to 21. Will the Bills win again? No, not gonna happen. The Patriots, they handle business 38 to 6. Tom Brady went stupid. 30 of 40, 400 yards passing, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. When it comes to the Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. In their first matchup, down in Big D, in week number three, the Giants, they got the win. But then in New York, the Cowboys, they came to town and they got the win. So they, they, they split home and away, but the other team won. But not this time. The Giants protect home field and they win in East Rutherford, New Jersey. 24-19 is the final and down. Carson Palmer, 20, 233 yards passing, three touchdowns, one pick. Jacksonville taking on the J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 and the Jacksonville Jaguars, they are the home home team, obviously. They're the better team, obviously, and they got the job done, obviously. 40-6, to six, the game wasn't even close. Tony Romo of the Jacksonville Jaguars, 22 for 33, 216 yards passing, two touchdowns, and just one interception. Now, Sean Alexander is in this game, not as a Seahawk, but as a dirty bird. He plays for the Falcons. So does Michael Vick who won the MVP. Now, in week number three, this team went down to Seattle. And they won 24 to 17. So can Seattle return the favor here? No, 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 they can't. The, the, the Dirty Birds, the Atlanta Falcons, they win. Michael Vick had a day, 23 of 34, 245 yards passing, three TDs, and 73 yards on the ground. Sean Alexander, 19 carries for 63 yards on the ground. Our next episode, I might drop later today, so be on the lookout. We got the Detroit Lions taking on the New York football Giants in a divisional round. It's a rematch of Week 15 where they beat us. We're not trying to have that happen again. So let's do our thug fizzle. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.